Hello there, it's Res and Robotic Orchestra again. Today's video is about using MIDI controllers Playtron and Touch Me with Vice and exploring what they can do together. Normally, you can use those devices to play sounds from your DAW or online synthesizers. I'm going to show you how to create interactive music powered by audio engine. Connect Playtron's pins to any conductive things you find with alligator clips. Remember to save one for the ground. In this case, you are the ground. Connect the device to the computer and try playing online MIDI instruments. If this works, there will be no problem with Vice. In Vice, open Project Control Surface Devices. Add a new device, call it Playtron or whatever you want. Choose the needed one from the list. In the Active Mixer hierarchy, navigate to Synth 1 presets. Choose two you like most and copy paste them to a work unit. I chose the bass one and the harpsy. Go to Control Surface Bindings and take a look at the current selection line. This means you can play a MIDI note using literally anything you point at and wise as an output. Try it with both of the synth presets. While synth is the easiest option, you can also try making a sampler. This can also be mapped to a different scale. There are awesome tutorials on the Audio Kinetic website. Open Soundcaster. Start a new session. Put your synth presets into the first and the second slots respectively. We can use a mouse to choose between them, but it's just handy to control that with our MIDI input. Switch to Control Surface Bindings, navigate to View Groups, create a new folder and make a new binding. Press Learn and touch the object you want to make the control switch for bass. In Soundcaster, choose the Running Control Surface Session. In the menu, right to the Learn button, choose Object Commands Inspect. If you choose Play, it will start playing a looped synth sound. Copy-paste the binding, press Learn and associate it with whatever you want to make a harpsy switch. Change the Object Index to number 2, because harpsichord is in the slot number 2. If you bind a pin to a control command or a soundcaster object, this pin stops working as a key, so you can balance the quantity of keys and control commands as you wish. Actually, you can put whatever you wish in the soundcaster, so let's have some fun with interactive music hierarchy. You can play or stop the track, like beats or arpeggio, using the same technique we already tried, simply choosing the play stop command for an object in Soundcaster. With an event put into the Soundcaster, you can play perfectly synchronized stingers. Basically, events can do anything. You can create dependencies like changing states with specifically designed for their transitions, play other events, it's literally an infinite playground. When it comes to interactive music and looped sounds, it's better to prevent playing several instances of one sound at once, otherwise it can become unbearable. Simply add a stop everything event and bind it with a pin. That's what I built from my assets and bindings. If you bind a MIDI controller with faders or potentiometers to wise, you can control so-called game parameters. Faders are inputs for MIDI CC, and it's easy to bind them with wise by creating a simulation value binding in the global binding folder. When I came up with the idea of using TouchMe with wise, I was thinking that if it works as a capacitive sensor, it would be an output for MIDI CC, but I was completely wrong. It transmits MIDI notes, which are already working perfectly in our project due to Playtron, so we won't need another instance of that kind. Luckily, I found a program called MIDI Translator. It's a paid one, but there is a trial version you can use for 20 minutes. If you restart it when the time is up, you'll have another 20 minutes and so on and on. 
create a preset to receive MIDI message node on and convert it to the MIDI message control change, channel 1, any CC you wish, remember it, we'll need it later, and tick capture MIDI to see the data in real time. Now you can specify the ports or make them project default. Touch me as an input, BOM MIDI translator 1 virtual out as an output. Test the conversion system. Find that MIDI source in WISE and bind it to a game parameter. With a game parameter you can control anything. Let's create an effect and control it with our parameter. To match the range of touch me we should resize parameter values, otherwise it won't influence the sound that much. Now we can add some life to the track. Thank you for watching. All the useful links you can find below the video. If you are interested in creating weird musical instruments, please check out my channel. And if you have any ideas on what I can research next, please feel free to share. I'll be glad. Thank you. See you.